Hey y'all, it's me, Chris, and I want to talk about the new policy that entered the military. And that is their lift on letting openly transgender people serve. So, what are my thoughts? I know you've been dying to hear them. You haven't? That's a little awkward, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. Honestly, what did you think I'm going to say? I'm part of the LGBTQ community. I am super happy this happened and yeah like it's it's amazing what i want to talk about though is why i think some people aren't and why i think i want to acknowledge those when i have a conversation and so yeah a little disclaimer you don't have to agree with everything i say in fact i don't expect you to it's okay not to agree with everything i say i think that we live in a beautiful world that so much diversity it's just amazing i don't want to have a conversation with myself with that being said though I want to hit up some topics um, and then if you have anything to say comment below or message me or whatever and we can have this conversation first of all I'm happy about this because I know a time when I couldn't express myself fully in the workplace um, I joined in 07 and at the time I thought I was straight honestly um, or asexual, but that's a whole nother topic. But I came in, thought I was straight, and then, bam, when I was 19 and I was already in the service, I discovered myself. I let myself have a deep conversation with myself, let my internalized homophobia let go and just be okay. And I know that for the first couple years where I couldn't express that at the workplace, it was, it was tough. I was not as open with my coworkers especially when relationships and back then they were pretty sometimes rough um, or even like on the happy moments too I couldn't express to my um, coworkers on how I felt that that created a barrier so I think that um, people who are open and honest at work and that have a space that they can be will do better work um, I know that there are some days where I'd have a bad fight with an ex or something I would go and work all mopey and they'd ask like what's wrong and I couldn't be like um, well you know, me and the girlfriend had a fight or something. And so I think that having your battle buddy and like having your wingman, um, being open and comfortable is a great thing. Am I still recording? Okay. Point two I wanna make is I've seen a lot of comments all around saying how trans people are only gonna join the military to get those medical benefits or to get the money for what they need, whether it's estrogen, testosterone, um, top surgery, uh, bottom surgery, whatever. And I kind of have to debunk that. I mean, maybe like some people's motivation will be that. I know a lot of medical insurances don't follow that plan. Um, they don't find it a necessity, which is, um, again, another topic. But um, I think everybody has a different motivator when they do come into the military, whether it's education, work, uh, health insurance, being part of a community, serving your country. It's, I don't think that someone's motivator should make them any less being able to be who they are, essentially. I know my motivator was to be part of a, a community um, that's bigger than myself, serve my country, education, because um, I knew I couldn't pay for it by myself, and health insurance. And I just needed a job right out of high school, so... Um, those are my motivators, but does that make me any less of an airman? Or, I don't think so. The caveat too with that is, I am about 90, I'm about like 97 point, I'm about like 97.2 percent sure I'm never gonna have kids um, that I birth. Yeah. For me to say like some women's motivators to stay in the military or to join the military is to be able to have their pregnancy paid for, or paid leave, whatever. Like, should I get pissed about that? No, that's just part of the process. That's just who they are. That's their life choice. That's who they want to be and who they are, feel their identity is and just all that. Um, so no. So yeah. The third point I want to make is uh, something that Rachel Maddow I know I said about this whole policy change is that trans people are already in the service. Just like when the ADT, don't ask don't tell, was lifted, gay people were already in the service. They were already serving, already retired, already got out, already affiliated with 
And so you probably know of someone or ran across them during like some sort of something or something, um, but they're in the service. So this isn't going to create an influx of trans people to come in. And, in. and on the flip side, if it does, they get to serve their country, which is just an amazing thing to me. <sighs> so one thing I want to mention that's kind of not negative, but I want to take tread lightly. I want to make sure that this is done right. I want to make sure that regulations that um, educate people on kind of like the do's and don'ts. I don't think there's a lot of education around that. So to have that in the workplace is important, especially if you know that a troop is coming who is openly trans. And then also how to navigate through that. I don't know everything. I hope there's classes out there or some sort of CBT or something. And then also, um, on the flip side, I hope that the um, military services do make um, people who want to transition go to uh, gender therapy, psychologist, or not saying it's an illness, but um, make sure that that's what they want to do. This is an amazing time to be alive and I'm super excited and yeah. And which is funny because the main issue that I have with the military, the uh, Air Force specifically, it doesn't have to do with gender regulations. It's the fact that in mess dress, females have to wear a skirt. And I do not look good in a skirt. I'll show you a picture right here. Yeah, that's me in a skirt. Um, I could show off my calves. They are amazing. You're welcome. But other than that, I do not feel comfortable with that. So um, I think that's something that we have to work on and change policies. Plus, wouldn't it be so cute if I wore a bow tie? I look hella good in a bow tie. Watch. Right? <laughs> so yeah. Bigger strides, bigger steps. So happy. Have a great day. Thanks for listening. Bye. Sure is like hella wrinkly. <laughs> Isn't this cute?